Hi, I'm Killian Kieran, and I want to talk a little about Fides Lang today. Fides Lang, if you're not familiar, is a high level description language for privacy supported by a set of tools and workflows. It integrates directly with your CI pipeline and runtime environment to simplify and automate complex privacy tasks. I'm going to share a little more about how Fides Lang is used and the benefits it can provide to any privacy conscious team. So privacy is a complex problem because of multiple global regulations with different definitions for how specific categories of data should be treated under certain circumstances. This problem is further compounded by a lack of interoperability because every team and company defines their own view of what type of data they're dealing with. Of course, for developers who aren't familiar with privacy, even penetrating these concepts means significant training is required. So the solution to this is to define a standard ontology for describing privacy in data processing systems, and that's precisely what Fides Lang is. So Fides Lang is a high-level definition or description language specifically designed for describing privacy characteristics of software systems, their associated data sets, and external data sources and destinations. So in order to achieve this and maintain human readability, Fides is based on a taxonomy that today captures four major privacy primitives, which I'll explain in a little more detail. The first of those is data categories. The categories are types of data that our system is processing. You can think of this as the what, right, the what type of data. The next is data uses, or the taxonomy of labels to describe the purpose for which data is used in our system. You can think of this as the why. A good example of this might be advertising or personalization. The third is data subjects. So this is the representation of the type of user, or sometimes called the subject in privacy regulations. So that's who, whose data we're dealing with. The user requires distinction because rights or policies for how data is processed may vary by the subject grouping. So an example might be a customer of an e-commerce system versus a patient in a clinical trials platform. The fourth and final grouping is data qualifiers. These are an attribute that denotes the degree of identification for a given data. So that is the how identifiable the individual is. So qualifier types include aggregated, where there's no individually identifiable information, anonymized, which is data that has been modified to remove identifiable information, or identifiable, which readily identifies the individual. By using these four resources together as part of Fidesz Lang, we can build a clear understanding of the privacy characteristics, behaviors, and associated risks of our system's data processing. This is the entire premise of Fidesz and the tools that leverage the Fidesz language. So Fidesz is very easy to read, understand, and write. This is intentional, as it should be easy for any developer or even non-engineers to pick up. The taxonomy is hierarchical, so an example could be contact data, which encompasses all of the contact information a user might give to a system. Or it might be more fine-grained, such as email address, which is a subcategory of contact information. So for example, if we wanted to declare that our system was processing data that might identify a user, we would simply write user provided identifiable data. This dot notation structure indicates that the data in question was provided by the user and identifies them directly. We could go a layer further and state that it's user provided identifiable contact data. So in this case, we're stating that it's part of information related to the contact grouping. And finally, we could be very precise and fine grained and we could state that it's user provided identifiable contact phone number. And so in this case, we're clearly stating that it's the phone number related to the individual or user. As you can see, Fides provides an easy to read and write definition language for privacy that synthesizes major regulations for you so that you don't need to in order to provide your work with a readily understood privacy compliant set of definitions. This ensures that rules and policies can be applied evenly and ensures an interoperable standard for privacy in both your Git repos, your CI pipeline, or for evaluation of privacy requests in your runtime. If you'd like to learn more, please check out ethica.com slash Fides or the detailed technical documentation located on the GitHub Fides line repo.